We had the pleasure of being out at the event and talking to so many that were involved in putting this event on and about the impact of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy as it continues to have an impact here in the greater West Bloomfield area and beyond. Dave Scott was out there yesterday, had a chance to talk to so many people that were involved in making this event happen, including some of the students that took a leadership role yesterday, having a chance to talk to a couple of the student co-chairs. We'll take a look at, at one of the first of those discussions as Dave talked to a co-student co-chair, uh, Daniel Owens, at yesterday's United We Walk. Let's go out to Dave. Thanks, Tyler. We're right here in the auditoria of the West Bloomfield Middle School for United We Walk, one of the biggest events of the year here in West Bloomfield, something we always look forward to. And <laughs> it is a freezing cold Sunday here in Greater West Bloomfield. That's why we're inside and delighted now to be joined by one of the student co-chairs of this year's event, Daniel Owens. Daniel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Tell me why this event is important to you. Um, I think it's important because we, we need to be united as a, as a community and we need to be all in this together. Well, I, those are very good words. As the co-chair, you're going to have an opportunity today to speak to this audience. We'll be seeing that on Civic Center TV. What are you going to be talking about? Uh, we're going to be talking about different, there's going to be different people that are going to come up and present. Like There's going to be one person playing the guitar, there's going to be the jazz band, and there's going to be other people presenting. So I'm a little older than you, okay? Um, so from your perspective, from a student at West Bloomfield High School, um, is, is Martin Luther King Day and United We Walk um, impactful on the students? Yeah, I think it's really impactful. Uh, I think as due to the, kind of just the way that he, he presented himself as how peaceful he was in the way, compared to other different leaders. Uh, he did not want to uh, commence violence. He did everything peacefully, and uh, yeah. Well, and, and Dr. King was amazing yeah. in that way, and you know, especially in our society, it's changed a little bit. Yeah. You look at the media, and you look at how almost loud, how, literally how loud everybody is. Yeah. There isn't a lot of patience and, and quiet in people that are making a difference, and, and, and so you're saying Dr. King was impactful, but he didn't need to yell, yeah. didn't need to make a lot of noise in peaceful exactly. protest, right? Exactly. And does that, ha that had an impact on you? Yeah, um, I think he, he kind of inspired me by not being violent in that sort of way and pe peacefully, uh, when you, even when like arguing, just maintaining peaceful, peacefulness in that way. Well, well said, Daniel. I appreciate it. What year are you in a West Bloomfield? 2026. Okay, well, very good. Um, do you know where you're going to school or what your plans are yet? I want to go to Michigan, but... All right. Yeah. Well, that's after they won that national yeah. championship. Who doesn't <laughs> want to go to... Even our cameraman, Tyler, who went to Michigan State, <laughs> is even rethinking that. So, Daniel, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Um, back to you in the studio, Tyler Keefe from West Bloomfield Thanks. Middle School and United We Walk. Thank you so much, Dave, and a huge thank you is in order for Jennifer Graham from the West Bloomfield School District, one of the adult co-chairs of this event who not only spends her days teaching our kids in elementary uh, level throughout the West Bloomfield School District, but helping to plan this event that really does take 365 days a year to make happen the way that it does and has been for 30 events spanning since 1995 when this first happened in the West Bloomfield School District, celebrating the life and the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. You can learn more information on United We Walk on WBSD.org. Scroll over their community tab and click on United We Walk for information on joining the committee as an adult volunteer or a student volunteer, the history of United We Walk in the greater West Bloomfield community, and of course to find more information on how you can participate all throughout the year in celebrating the life and the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The entire ceremony from the 30th United We Walk event is available on demand from our team at Civic Center TV. Find us on civiccentertv.com and find the video also on demand on Facebook at Civic Center TV 15 and on our YouTube channel for free at Civic Center TV. For our entire team at Civic Center TV and the team in the West Bloomfield School District, a huge thank you for staying with us and want to remind you, you can always find the latest news and information from across the greater West Bloomfield community on Civic Center TV and 89.3 Lakes FM. Thank you.